Alright, so you don't have a laptop or a computer and you want to make a Roblox game. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a Roblox game but on your mobile device. Make sure to watch this video all the way through so you don't miss any important steps. Alright, so grab your mobile device and let's get straight into this. All right, so first things first, you're gonna go to the Roblox app, of course, on your tablet or a phone, and you are going to go to the three dots in the corner of more and click create. In the create, you guys should have actually by default a Roblox experience. For me, I have a bunch of Roblox experiences, but for this example, I'll just be clicking my Slap Tower kit, so you guys should have your own. In this, you're going to click your game, okay? And you can see if you tap the three uh, you know, things on the top left, you should be able to do a lot of configurations. So whether you change the settings, uh, the name, the description, the genre, anything like that, feel free to mess around. Now, the main thing is, of course, set this to public. Um, and once you do that, you can click save changes. For me, I'm just going to keep it private, but of course you get the, the jiffy of it. And like I said, you can change the icon, the thumbnail, anything you want just by clicking the buttons and it will prompt it for you and upload all that kind of stuff. So feel free to watch other videos if you do have any more questions about that. But in this curation we have here, as you can tell, you can actually go down and do a few things. So in order to actually edit your game, we're going to be needing to create a API key. All right, so you're actually gonna go over to roblox.com on your Safari browser. So after we uh, did make and check that our game was public and everything, and we changed the settings in our Roblox app, you can actually go to continue in browser and we're gonna log in, okay? So feel free to log in. All right, so once I'm logged in, as you can tell, this is what it would look like on your desktop, but we are on the phone. So I'm gonna hit create as normal that we did. And as you can tell, we have our game still as, as normal. Now, a few things, if you wanna add this to your profile, you can actually, um, if you click it, you say view on Roblox, you're gonna open it in a new tab. Once you open it in a new tab, you should be able to go like this and click the right three dots and hit add to profile. So this will add it to your profile and you should be good. Okay, so actually we're gonna hit create right here again and we are going to go to the left and click all tools and we're gonna go to API keys. So now you're gonna create an API key and you're gonna give it a name so we can just do uh, mobile and then we can just say here and access permissions is where we're gonna do a system. Now we're gonna check and do universe. So you're gonna do universe and you're gonna go down to security, turn this on and you are going to type this in. 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0. And then you're gonna click add IP address. And make sure it says zero, it says no expiration, and click save and generate key. Now you're gonna make sure you copy the key to clickboard. You're gonna head over to Roblox and you're gonna search up Studio Light. Now you can just click Studio Light just like this, so super easy to do. And you should be loaded. So this is exactly like Roblox Studio, but on the phone. So you can actually create a game just from here by simply going and making things. If you do get to watch my Steel of Brand Raw videos, you should be able to actually get um, certain kits from this. Like I said, it's really important to watch tutorials because you might not have an understanding of how this works, but you can do anything if you just watch this tutorial. I'm gonna click File and Save, Save As. We're gonna say Test Game here, blah, 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 and Publish Safer Later. Everyone can play it together and Save. Now, Publish to Roblox profile, yes. And you are actually going to do your kit. So whatever game that you had, you're gonna find that game. Of course, for some reason I can't even find mine, but just feel free to find it. And you're gonna actually copy and paste that API key. So paste your API key in this little box right here and click publish. Once you click publish, it should have updated for you and you should be able to play your own game. So whether you click and leave your game and actually go play your real one, you should be able to test it out. So if you go to your Roblox game, you should be able to hit play and it should work exactly how you wanted it to. Every time that you want to come and edit a game, you just come back onto the file. You can just save as and save and redo exactly just how you like it and overwrite it. Like I said, watch tutorials because it talks about making a game as simple as it is. And you can really learn a lot, whether those are scripts and things that are inside of a game. It's really cool to look and see, as well as the fact that you can write scripts yourself. If this tutorial helped you out, feel free to check out my channel for more tutorials as I make Steel of Brain Rock games, grow a garden, anything you can ask, I'm posting tutorials for. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to subscribe and like, comment, and share this video to other people out there. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.